Hey everybody! It is Monday, 12.30. Solving Your Stress mini-series. This is your host, Sam. And uh, today, I'm, it is Labor Day, so it's a holiday. Kind of sitting here in my office, thinking about a lot of things. And, uh, you know, we come together every Monday to talk about stress, uh, ways to solve your stress, uh, tactics, tools, if you will, to do that. And, and today is more uh, of a message um, because things right now are absolutely crazy. I am hearing from a lot of you out there just struggling on a day to day to make sense of everything that's happening out there. And when we can't make sense of it, when it's foreign to us, when we don't have the control that we want, it puts us in a state of constant stress. And uh, add on to that, we've got a big uh, memorial this Friday. Yes, this Friday is the 19th anniversary of September 11th. I hope wherever you are watching this from, that you take time to never forget We've lost on over 3,000 people now still dying from uh, September 11th related illnesses. That aside, uh, this week, I, you know, I want you to think about what side you're on. And I, I'm not, I don't want to make this political. This isn't about Republican side, Democratic side, left side, right side, whatever you want to call it. I want you to ask yourself this question. Are you on the human side? Because I have seen behavior that, I mean, it is, it's less than human. It is barbaric. People are not allowed to speak their minds. They're not allowed to express opinions. Frankly, they're not even allowed to write their own opinions with all the censorship going on. And what does that cause? That causes stress. So ask yourself, you know, what side are you on first? And if you're on the human side, I want you to do one thing. I want you to listen to your truth. Now, what do I mean by listen to your truth? When I, I've talked all over the United States about ways and to bring your stress levels down. And I talk about this with my audiences. It's the voice here. It's what lives in your heart. It, it's what, when you go to make a decision, it pings you. And you know if you're making the right decision or if you're making a decision that may go against your value system. And if it's, if it's a de big decision and it's a decision where you feel a massive amount of stress or you feel sadness or your heart actually aches or you all of a sudden get a headache your truth is speaking to you and look at that decision is it in alignment with your humanness with your value system we have got all kinds of folks crossing lines that I never thought I would see in my own communities here. Uh, feeling like it's okay to pick up bottles and bash people over the head and interrupt families and get violent with families with little kids right there. That is okay. I mean, come on. That's not being human. That's not doing something good for all of humanity. And you have to know that your truth is pinging you because I'm pretty sure you know right from wrong. You know your value system. Now, if it's telling you absolutely to, it's okay to go pick up a bottle and bash somebody over the head with it, I don't know. There's a place for you, special place for you in, in the universe, and uh, you know. And that's all that I'll say. But if you listen with every decision that you make, you, at, you, you you're whether it's work related or you're trying to navigate what is going on in the world, coming down to what you even want to post, put out there on the internet, you feel it here. And if it's pinging you in any way that's not positive, 
you might want to take a step back and look at who you may be hurting. You may be hurting yourself and you don't even know it. You may be hurting your family. You may be hurting your, a friend. So I ask you, as a human being, to live your truth. It's as simple as listening to this when you go to make decisions. Not complicated. And if you stick with it, things will be a lot less stressful in your life. But maybe, just maybe, this will be a way where things can actually turn around and we can be civil to one another again. That's my message today. Stop falling into the trap of reaction and listen to your truth. And live as a human doing good on this earth. Till next time, remember this Friday, September 11th, never forget, Sam out.